Hello, it is Saturday, August 17th, 2024. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It's a Saturday crossword today, so we're going to be solving a tricky, themeless puzzle, very possibly the most difficult crossword of the week. That's That tends to be how it goes on, uh, on Saturday. And this tricky Saturday edition of the Daily Solve, this tricky, themeless puzzle, comes to us uh, from Michael, Lakehouse Bros, and, as always, the indomitable Shoalmaster, the incorrigible Sheila Beeler, and the indefinable Charlie Paget. Thank you so much to the five of them, benefactors of the Daily Solve Patreon campaign, for their generous support. They sustain this channel, they make it an ongoing part of my daily work, and for that, I'm very grateful. Thank you to those five and to everybody who's a patron of the channel at any level. If you'd like to join them, you can head to patreon.com slash daily solve or click the description field link, where you'll find the bonus videos available to patrons. Actually, I completely forgot to mention that included this week the monthly bonus puzzle for uh, August. It was impressively themed. I was very, very pleased. Uh, it was a true um, return to form for the monthly bonus puzzle in that in that respect. So check it out if you're a, uh, a patron. And uh, the mini puzzle pseudo speed solve for this week is up there as well. Um, all right. Thanks to everybody who backs the channel. And uh, thanks if you support it in any other way. Um, you can also join the Daily Solve Discord chat server. Nice friendly chat community linked in the description field. And now let's get on to today's themeless Saturday crossword. Constructed by Brandon Coppy, who's constructed nearly 20 puzzles for the New York Times, it was edited once again by Joel Faliano. Uh, no theme today, just tricky clues. Let's start solving. Ireland's second best-selling musical act after U2. Is it... Is it Enya? Let's try it and see. Uh, goes down the drain, perhaps. I'm not sure what the... Oh, Eddie's? No. Would you use that as a verb? I don't, I don't know. I don't know if it would work in that context anyway. Thinks on. So the on in parentheses means we're going to apply it both to the clue and the answer. So she thinks on something. She... Hmm. I don't know. I'm not thinking of anything useful. I'm thinking of things like natters, which isn't helpful. Stretcher bearers. Question mark. Right. So does it mean stretcher in a medical context? I assume not because of the question mark, which indicates a pun of some sort. What about this? Frustrated cry. Arg, maybe? I'm not sure if that's right. It could be something like, it could be this as well. Uh, something shown to a, no, it is this, because something shown to a rude, rude house guest would be the door. You show them the door. So what's good? Maybe it goes down the drain is eddies. I'm thinking like whirlpools, you know, swirls around eddies, little little whirlpool and a drain. Let's see. Thinks on this one should be, I'm sure this is one where it should be very obvious and I'm just not getting it. Stretcher bearers. One might clean up lots of toys. Because of this G, I sort of want this to be doggy. Doggy sitter doesn't really make sense. Grown in Blank brand of frozen French fries. I've never heard of this, but I do know that Idaho is associated with potato growing. So perhaps grown in Idaho is a is a frozen foods brand. We'll see. Thinks oh noodles on. Yes, you noodle on something. You use your noodle, your brain. You think about it. There we go. This really does look like doggy something, doesn't it? Stretcher bearers. Oh yoga mats. <laughs> they bear in the sense that they support that uh, people who are stretching. Stretchers will, will literally be on yoga mats. Very good. So this is going to be doggy something. And then spat. Uh, I don't know. Huh. Maybe it's not. Is it dog and then a word with a G? Is the G actually not part of doggy? One might clean up lots of toys. Dog. Oh, no. Yeah, it's dog groomer. Wow. Okay. That G pointed me towards dog, but it wasn't actually part of the word dog. Um, but it did put me in the right overall area. So toys in this case means toy breeds, tiny, you know, small dog breeds. All right. So spat. Oh, a row, an argument, a spat. Uh, that's what it is. Epic backdrop, maybe. War in a film, an epic war film or something. Might be a backdrop to the foreground action. 
match up if you align something perhaps you match it up Let's see if that works josh who voices olaf in frozen i have no idea i don't know uh what about this portuguese title sal for saint Let's see if that works for scythia for one is that a flower for scythia for one I'm not sure mistreatment Abuse is, is mistreatment of somebody. There we go. And True Detective and The Wire for two. Those are HBO series, HBO dramas, maybe. There we go. And one named poet from the 13th century. Um, oh, uh, 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 Rumi, the, Ara is the Iranian poet, the Persian poet. For Scythia, for one shrub, maybe? Reason one might read a speed hump sign and laugh. What does that mean? Oh, because of the, the sort of double entendre? So is there... Oh, dirty oh, dirty mind. Oh, that's clever. That's a good clue. Um, it's just... it's. I mean, it's not um, very punny. It's, it's funny in that I guess it's it's playing on the pun inside the clue itself rather than the answer being a pun. All right, app audience, users, users of an app, that's straightforward. This is a shrub, okay, for Scythia, yeah. It sounded like a plant. Um, maybe it's a flowering shrub, I don't know. Anyway, seabed, question mark, birth. Yes, like your birth in a ship, your, your, where you sleep, your, your bed, there we go, that's what it is. And this, so the question mark, because uh, we're not referring to the, to seabed in, you know, the sort of sense of an ocean floor kind of thing. All right. Some skin tight clothing. Hmm. I'm not sure what that one's about. Get me? You dig or something like that? Verbally waver. To hem and haw, perhaps? I don't really know that you'd use one of those alone, though, so probably not. Like Medina, Saudi Arabia, vis-a-vis -vis Medina, Ohio. So it's when you see vis-a-vis, -vis, it means relative to. So that's usually going to be a comparative word. So it's going to be something-er than the other. Medina, Saudi Arabia will be something-er than... Oh, I was going to say maybe drier or something like that or hotter i don't know i can't think of anything that would fit with this i-e-r there so-called king of the egyptian gods amun ra there are several i can think of at least three ways to spell this um this is one of the ways i've seen this with an o maybe not with an a i've seen it yeah, I've definitely seen it with a U. So let's say I'm going to leave that for now. Potatoes in Indian cuisine. Alu? Okay. Amun Ra with an O. So there we go. Yeah, potatoes are alu in Indian cuisine. So what's this? Rustic. I don't know. So what's this? Medina, Saudi Arabia, vis-a-vis -vis Medina, Ohio. Oilier? <laughs> Is there oil? more oil there and a holier oh so the holy site in islam is that is that the answer verbally waver oh maybe it is ha from ham and ha rustic wooded maybe or wooden wooded rustic kind of a rustic location a wooded location perhaps initial tentative event sorry that was a strange misread initial tentative attempt I don't know. I'm not crazy about wooded. I don't really like that for rustic. So what's this? Blank Agua para Chocolate. Hit 1992 foreign language film. Como maybe? I'm not sure. Don't recognize the film. Scouting gatherings. Oh, maybe it is camp something. If that were a C for, for Como. So then what's this? Maybe it is wooded. Some skin tight clothing. Shapewear? Shapely? Surely this is Amun-Ra. 
initial tentative attempt. Huh. Get me? So this, this could be you dig or something like that. Although this doesn't, some skin tight now. Huh. Okay. I'm not sure. I'm confused by this overall area. Scouting gatherings. Camp sites? Camp? A site isn't a gathering. A site is where a gathering might be held. So what are the gatherings themselves? Camp? Outs, maybe? It's not long enough. I don't know. I'll have to come back to it. Okay, coal miners discovery, a seam, a seam of coal. So there you go. Fashions out of whatever's lying around makes do or makes something. Nonstop flight. So the question mark suggests this is a pun. So I'm wondering if flight in this case means sort of fleeing rather than uh, airborne flight. Non-stop flight. I'm not sure. Jamie Lee Curtis or Nev Campbell, notably. This Is this wrong? Match up. I just, this is not feeling, this whole area is not feeling good. Jamie Lee Curtis or Nev Campbell, notably. And it may, I don't know, makes could be wrong as well. What is this? Oh, Scream Queen. They're both um, they're both uh, very much associated with long running horror front film franchises. So either one of them might be referred to as a Scream Queen. That'll be it. Okay. So Jamie Lee Cur Curtis in Halloween and Nev Campbell in uh, well, actually, I guess the I guess Scream, isn't it? Yeah. So speaking of Scream Queen, anyway, fashions out of whatever's lying around mocks up or. I don't know why I can't see that one. Non-stop flight. So match up is definitely not a line. To match up. I mean, oh, I, I guess if it's not a line, I don't know that that's an L. So to match something up would be to... Sends to hell. Dams. You could damn someone to hell. Hit Netflix show whose pilot episode is titled Red Light, Green Light. Boy, who knows episode names of television shows? <laughs> that is not something that I would that I would know. Even if I've seen the show, I wouldn't trust myself to know episode titles. Stanley of Julia and Julia. Stanley Tucci, I bet. Um, and then often bracketed bit of Latin sick. So this you would bracket in a quotation to indicate that the error that you've transcribed was part of the original source and not introduced by you. So this will be a U, probably because it follows a Q. Oh, it must be Squid Game. Okay, I haven't actually seen that. Maybe if I had, there would be a plot point that would make this obvious. Okay, so nonstop flight. Something master? I don't know. To match up. Oh. Uh, if, if, if theories match up, for instance, they agree. So what's this? Josh Gad voices all often frozen. Oh, okay. That's believable. Uh, nonstop flight. Oh, stair, stairmaster. Oh, that's a, that's a really, that's my favorite clue of the puzzle so far. I like that quite a lot. That's very clever. So stairmaster, the exercise machine in which you sort of endlessly climb a flight of stairs. So it's a nonstop flight. You're just quiet. You, you know, you're making stair motions with your legs forever. Okay. Still not sure what's going on here. Get me. Oh, you feel maybe like you feel me. Get me. Could that be it? Initial tentative attempt. Yes. A 4A. You're making a 4A into a new area. It's your initial tentative attempt. That's, that's it. So what's this? Some skin tight clothing. Oh, shh. Shaper? Oh, is it Shapers? Is that what it is? And then Rustic is Woodsy. Ah, that's better than Wooded or Wooden. Right, yes, okay, it's Woodsy. It's not literally necessarily strictly forested, but it's got a Woodsy kind of vibe to it. It's Rustic. Finally, okay, 
I'm glad to have eventually understood that. So then what are the scout scouting gatherings? They're camp. This still doesn't look like anything to me. Oh, it's odd, isn't it? But this has got to be right. Hmm. We'll come back to it. Really loses one's cool, goes nuclear. There we go. I'm obviously, I've obviously got something wrong, and I don't know what it is. This feels wrong. I don't know why, but this feels wrong. Maybe this is wrong? Scouting gatherings. And it's going to end with an S as well. It's That's so strange. Mark is important in a way. Yeah, I mean, it, presumably it'll start with an S. This is, I, I don't know what this could possibly be other than for a scouting gatherings, camp ories, camp ories. Is it like jamborees, but with camp? It's a terrible portmanteau. Camp ories. Okay, I guess that's, I guess that's the answer. I, 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 I don't know. I have to assume that's the answer. Okay, low cost logger from Anheuser Busch familiarly. Oh, that's funny. Natty Ice from uh, Natural Ice is the sort of full name of this beer. Um, the, the only reason I'm remarking on that is because it's not something that I associate with being in the crossword all the time, but it was in Connections the other day. Natty as a part of the name of Natty Ice or Natty Light um, was in the Connections, I think, earlier this week or last week. Uh, so it's just funny to see it in the crossword. Anyway, Mark as important, it's a beer. Anyway, Mark is important in a way. To star something, that seems plausible. 11 in Las Vegas. Um, rare or something? I'm not sure. The one in 881 EG. Don't know what 881 refers to. Blank Puffs. It looks like the name of a cereal or something. Rice Puffs. I don't know. River through Glasgow. Oh, it's annoying to me that I can't think what this is offhand. What about this one? Loon, loons, e.g. I have no idea what we're looking for there. Frustrated cry. Ga. Arg. Ga. I have no idea what this that clue is. Uh, Eleven in Las Vegas, puffs. Something that's good to do a one eighty on. What does that mean? I have no idea what that means. It's probably a good clue. Frustrated cry. Oh, River Through Glasgow is the Clyde, the River Clyde. Give me a break. How did I not get that instantly? That's infuriating. All right, there we go. Uh, that's something I should have gotten immediately. 11 in Las Vegas. Random? <laughs> it's not that. I don't, obviously, it isn't that. I don't know what this means. Hmm. Blank puffs. Um, oh boy, I'm, I'm somewhat stumped. Survey unit. Oh, acre survey, a land survey. Something that's good to do a 180 on. Liar? You'd sort of retract a lie. Doesn't make any sense. That's not right. Randall's elder daughter on This Is Us. I've not seen that. 11 in Las Vegas. I have no idea what this means. Blank puffs. Oh, Reese's maybe? Is there a Reese's uh, peanut butter cups based cereal or something called Reese's puffs? I just assume that the capital P puffs is a cereal. It could be something else, but I bet that's what it is. Okay, so what's the one in 881 EG? I don't know what that's getting at. A deal's a deal.
So this could be Tess. It's a daughter. It's a woman's name. Would fit. Eleven in Las Vegas. Something that's good to do 180 on. Jess. I don't know. Boy, I am not doing well over here, am I? Loons. What does that mean? wonder if I'll even get this one once I have all the letters in there. Blank anglaise, rich custard, creme anglaise. So that's, it's a, you know, element of, of, uh, baking or confectionery, I guess. Uh, these in French, uh, say, this is the plural of this or that in French. Toasters opening, toasters opening, like slots or what is it? I'm not sure what it's getting at. Toasters opening. T, the letter T, I don't know. Issue the subway, say. Walk, cycle, uh, cab, taxi. What is it? Issue the subway. Uh, step, <laughs> doesn't, it's not correct. Uh, buttress with up. Shore, oh, you could shore up, you could shore up support. You could buttress, you, you know, get some uh, support from elsewhere. In Buffalo, it's a faux pas to order this with buffalo wings. Ranch sauce, maybe? I don't know. I'm not aware of this faux pas, but I'm just guessing because sometimes ranch is served with chicken wings. So maybe. A deal's a deal. No take backs. No, no refunds. No. Toaster's opening. Oh, oh, that's very clever. Oh, I really like that. I'm disappointed I didn't get it more quickly. Toaster's opening. Here's to you, for instance. You're toasting someone. You're you're speaking fondly of them at a party or a reception or something. So there we go. Okay, that's good. I like that. Issue the subway. I still don't know what this is. Hold, please. Hmm. This looks odd. Oh, hold, as in hold me, give me a hug or something like that, or I need a hug, maybe? I need a hug would fit. There we go. That's what it is. So what's this? Oh, Uber. Okay. So it was sort of take a cab. All right. No backsies. No backsies. No take backs. Okay. A deal's a deal. That's what it is. So this looks like LSAT. Oh, it must be. Something that's good to do a 180 on. Okay, well, I guess I'm less surprised that I didn't see this. I never, this is the law school admissions test. I never went to law school or any other form of graduate school. So that's um, why I didn't know that that was a one, that I presumably 180 would be a perfect score on this, or at least a very good one. All right, so Randall's elder daughter does look like Tess, doesn't it? 11 in Las Vegas. Raiders? Oh, is that a team? An NFL team or something? The one. Aren't the Raiders Oakland? Did they move? The one in 881 EG. Ty. What does that mean? I think it must be right. Sorry, I'm not quite seeing what it is. I, I suspected I wouldn't understand this answer even after filling it in. Um, oh, 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 eight wins, eight losses, one tie. Sorry. Okay. It's, it's a, it's a victory record in sports, you know, in, in, in a series or something. Okay. Or league or whatever. So what's this? Frustrated cry. Ack. Dia. Oh, it's a day of the week. Oh, sorry. Oh goodness. Okay. This has not been my, it's not been my proudest day. I must, must admit. Okay, but I'm finally getting there. I'm getting them eventually. <laughs> um, even if I have to get every cross to do it. What lions can do that pumas cannot? I don't know. Think pads originally. I, oh, IBMs. That was, a, that was an IBM brand. I think it's maybe Lenovo now. Um, yeah, those are laptops. Okay, cry for help. SOS maybe? Uh, so distress call? Fashions, oh, fashions out of whatever's lying around is MacGyver's. Um, how do we spell that? Is it this? This is the, I don't even know that I've ever seen a full episode of MacGyver, but this was the, 
late, maybe 1980s television program in which this character is constantly getting in to difficult situations and having to fashion devices to get out of them. All right, worked on a collapsible table, say, ironed. Yes, you could iron clothes on a collapsible table, an ironing board. God slain by his brother, then resurrected by his wife. Osiris. I think that's right. Is this an OBGYN? Yes, Planned Parenthood doc would be an OBGYN, an obstetrician gynecologist. There we go. You, all of you. It's <laughs> a funny clue. So, oh, solvers. Oh, that's, that's, that's delightful. Uh, there we go. And um, it's all of us, the solvers. What lions can do that pumas cannot rear a oh, roar, roar. Pumas don't roar. That's that sounds correct to me. Animal also known as a pygmy chimpanzee is a bonobo, and sparkles is gleams. And I think I finally finished what to me was a very tricky crossword. And there we go. That was the Saturday crossword. Uh, some real, real tough ones in there for me, including a few that I didn't understand until after I actually got every single cross filled in completely, like Thai, Dia, um, Day. Uh, what else? I think there might have been a couple others that were that way. Yeah, Camporese. <laughs> Ridiculous word. Um, yeah, so just, uh, tough one. And then others that just took me much longer than they should have for whatever reason. Um and some just very clever clues. I, I really, really like Stairmaster, nonstop flight. I just think that's incredibly clever. I really like these very economical puns. I mean, it's just, it's, it's, it's very, it's almost a more of a, it's almost more of a discovery than a sort of creation. I like that. It's, I think it's very well done of constructors to find these little tiny phrases that you just think about them in a slightly different way and, and you get it, you understand what you know, what, what the pun is there. Um, let's see what else was good. Uh, there were some other funny ones I'm trying to remember. I mean, this is pretty good. This was pretty good just as, as some, some classic light misdirection. One might clean up lots of toys. You think of someone obviously tidying up, uh, but toys meaning dog breeds was just very clever. Um, anyway, it's just, it was, I think it was actually very good uh, oh, this was good. Toaster's opening here. That's very clever. That's very, very clever. Anyway, a uh, bit of a tough crossword for me, for sure. Uh, let me know how you did with this one. It is a Saturday puzzle, so I don't. I have no complaints about that. Um, but there we go. Maybe I need a hug after that, after uh, becoming one of the solvers. And um, I'll be back tomorrow with the Sunday edition of the crossword, Big Jumbo Grid, with a theme. Join me for that. But until then, please do have an excellent remainder of your Saturday. Take care. <laughs>